good day. So again, this is Teacher Teresa, another week, another topic. So before we start our class today, um, last time we finished reading passage 1 of Unit 4, which is all about um, customs of Hindu people and the ceremony on how they give name to their baby, right? So this time, we move on to passage reading number two in unit four. And it's all about customs as well. So we have here some pre-reading questions that we might be answer after reading the passage, okay? So it says here, or number one, if you're ready, you can read along with me so that you can practice your reading skills as well. Okay, so number one, describe how the people in the photo below and on page 74, 74 are eating. Okay, so you just need to observe the people here and how they eat. Okay, and, and you know, and how they usually, or what are the things that they usually use when they are eating. So you can see here they're using chopsticks, you know, they have bowls, they have plates, and something like that. Okay, next, number two. In what countries do people not use knives for eating? What do they use? Okay, so there are some countries that doesn't um, use knives when they are on the table. Like, they need to cut something, they need to cut their meat, their vegetables, their fruits, but they don't use knives so what they usually use for cutting it let's you know let's explore that one after reading the passage and number three where does a guest or an important person usually sit at the table in your country so example you have important guests like um let's say jimin or jungkook wants to you know eat with you in your in your house and since they are the guests, what part, okay, or which part of the table you let them see, okay? Uh, all right, so let's move on. And, okay, and before that, uh, before the passage reading itself, let's have a um, vocabulary sk skills activity here. All you need to do is you need to match these um, words or phrases with their English meaning, okay? Now, everybody, if you're ready, you can read along with me. We need to read first these phrases or these words, and after that, we will going to match them with their English meaning and write the letters here on the blanks, okay? Now, let's start. So the first word is chopsticks. Again, chopsticks. Next, a bowl. Again, a bowl. Next, to offer. Again, to offer. Next, a host. Again, a host. Next, to insist. To insist. Next, to refill. To refill. Next, to keep an eye on. Again, to keep an eye on. And at the middle. All right. Now, let's start and match them with this, uh, with this meaning. Okay, so chopsticks. Let's go and look for the meaning. Okay, so this one is letter B. Two thin sticks used to eat food. Okay, next, a bowl. So, alright, so this is letter D. A deep round dish, like a dish used for soup. Number three, to offer. Okay, to offer. So, if your answer is letter E, say politely that you are ready to do or give something. Okay, so this is the meaning. Next, a host. So, a host is letter A, a person who receives guests. Okay, so example, if you have guests with, you know, guests in your house, your family will be the host, okay? Your family or your mother or your father will be the host for that. Next. Number five, to insist. Okay, so insist is letter H. Say something strongly. 
and number six to refill so obviously if you have or you see the keywords there word refill you are going to able to answer that one fill again next to keep an eye on now when you say keep an eye on it's letter f watch over and the last one is number eight at the middle it's letter G in or near the center. Okay, so please take note of the uh, answer students. And if you're finished, let's move on to the next slide. So, so far, you already encountered those vocabulary words and phrases. Now, this time, for you to be able to understand them better, let's translate them in Thai language. Okay, so the first one, chopsticks. This is the meaning in Thai. Please take note of these students. Okay, a bowl, meaning in Thai, to offer. Okay, so there are two meanings of it. Either of the two is correct. Next, a host. Okay, this is the meaning in Thai. So please take note of this. You can write it on your notebook or your book. You know, it's up to you. Just, you know, make sure that you um, write them, all of them, because they really help you a lot in um, improving your vocabulary skills. Next, let's move on to another set of words and phrases. To insist, this is the meaning in Thai. To refill, to keep an eye on, and at the middle. Okay, so please take note of that, students. And if you're finished, let's move on. Okay, so this time we're going to um read the passage itself so the passage is entitled eat drink and know the customs so as what i have said you know there are there is a pre-reading questions before we go here so the last time that i let you observe a picture is about you know people eating with their chopsticks and there's a bowl there's plates okay so here we're going to compare them okay. so there are groups of monks here eating so obviously they were using spoon and forks they also plate they're also rice and they're also a bowl here okay and also a glass of water so as we um going to read the passage we're going to know more about table customs in your country okay so here um if you're ready you can read along with the recording itself for you to practice your reading skills as well okay so if you're ready let's start unit four customs reading two eat drink and know the customs Table customs are different around the world. If you go to Thailand, this information will help you. In Thailand, people do not eat with chopsticks, like in China, Japan, and Korea. They use spoons and forks. They never use knives. Most food is already cut. If you need to cut things, use the side of your spoon first and then use your fork. The spoon is more important than the fork. If you are right-handed, keep the spoon in your right hand and the fork in your left hand. People usually have rice in a separate bowl. The rice is not on the same plate with the other food. It is not necessary to finish all your rice or all your food. It is good to leave a little on your plate. If you eat everything, it means you want more. All right, so after reading or listening to the passage itself, this, you know, in this paragraph, it introduced, okay, uh, introduced about the table customs of the country, Thailand, your country. Okay, so if you're curious about the word customs, you might um, use your Google Translate for you to translate this in Thai. And let's move on. So in Thailand or in your country, 
people do not eat with chopsticks okay so you know if you're if you're against with it but you know in daily basis people in thailand don't use chopsticks right when you are eating so instead of using chopsticks you use spoon and forks okay and you also don't use knives when you are eating so instead of using knife you use the side of your spoon okay for you to cut that one and use the fork to get it okay so the spoon is very important than the fork so if you are right-handed keep the spoon in your right and the fork in your left now okay so people usually have rice in separate bowl and it's not necessary okay it's not compulsory to finish all your rice or food you can you know you can just eat half of it or just a little bit of your food you know it doesn't matter because you know um if it's if it's good okay it's good to leave a little on your plate and correct the passage if it's wrong or correct if you eat everything it means you want more do you agree with that okay so if you agree with that let's move on to the passage or the paragraph two so if you're ready let's read along and listen to the record people always offer you more food the host will ask you two or three times if you want more food first you must say no then the host insists again and you must say no again the host insists a third time and you finally say yes and take a little if you really don't want any more take very little and leave it on your plate it is the same with whatever you are drinking during the meal never empty your cup or glass when it is less than half full your host or neighbor will refill it never refill your own glass always refill your neighbor's glass this means that you must keep an eye on your neighbor's glass all through the meal the most important place at a table is at the middle an important guest will sit at the middle of the table on one side and the host will sit at the middle of the table on the other side this may be confusing when the table is round but the tie get it right somehow all right so in this paragraph it um you know it tells more about the table custom or table manner of thai people now people always offer more food okay so if you're a host you will ask your guests to get more food right because you know you like your your guests to be happy to eat more of the food that you offer or the or you know let let the guests eat more about the food that you prepare so first uh if you know if you will be the guest and you think that you're already full enough in eating food you must say no at first but you know as a host you will insist you know you get some more and you know convince your host or your guest to get more but if the host insists you must say no again and if it also insists again like two or three times you just take a little bit of the food and just leave it on your table for them to be you know to be satisfied to be contented or to convince themselves that you really enjoy their food okay so aside from that okay during the meal never empty your cup or glass okay so why why is it because automatically the host or the neighbor will refill it even if you didn't ask for it okay so they will be the one if you know if you really empty your glass they automatically refill it for you even if you didn't ask about that one and for you as a guest okay you will never refill your own glass always refill your neighbor's glass okay so instead of refilling your own glass as a as a guest it's your responsibility to refill your neighbor's glass instead so you must keep an eye on your neighbor's glass throughout the meal okay and 
you know remember the the question of the question in pre-reading activity that if you have important guests or important person that we're going to eat with you guys okay it says here most important place at the table is at the middle so obviously if you have important guests like jimin or jungkook they will let you or you know you will let them sit sorry you will let them sit on the middle of the table in one side example okay this is a table okay imagine this is a table and you let the important guests sit here okay at the you know the middle part of the table but on the other side and as a host you will sit here again important person or important guest host and the rest of the family will sit here all right but how about if you have you know if if the table is not rectangular or shape or you know square in shape it says here correct the passage if it's correct or wrong uh this might be confusing when the table is round but the thai people get it right somehow so you have you know you know the drill you know what to do if you have your table round you know where the important person or guest will be seated okay next since we are finished in reading the passage and we already encountered these vocabulary words before uh, before reading before reading the passage itself this time we're going to apply them or use them to complete the sentences here okay so obviously there are eight sentences and there are also eight words or phrases inside the box okay so if you're ready you can read along with me so that you can practice your reading skills and let's start so number one the thigh do not use blank they use a spoon and fork so if your answer is chopsticks you are correct so okay please please take note of these students next number two the Thai eat rice in a separate bowl. Next, at a dinner, the blank tells each guest to sit or each guest were to sit at the table. So if your answer is host, you are correct. So the host will blank you more food. So this is obviously offer. So the host blank two or three times that the guest takes more food insist this is the this is the time we're going to use the word insist and you must not blank your glass or cup the host or neighbor will do this okay refill for this one at the table you must blank your neighbor's glass and fill it when it is half full so keep an eye on and the last one important for people or person like guests or the host sit at the middle of the table all right so please take note of the answer students and after this one i'm going to post a worksheet or homework that will be writing yeah writing activity homework or worksheet you know it's usually like question and answer type of worksheet so all you need to do is you need to answer the questions in sentence form okay so i hope you learned something from me today students and before we end our class let's have a short wrap up about what we did today so today we um finished reading about the custom of thai people in their table or the table manner of thai people okay you should the uh what you usually use when you are eating and what are those customs that you usually do when you have guests or you have some important person in in your family table okay things like that so yeah I, I think let's end our class here and again this is teacher Teresa please keep safe and keep healthy students hope to see you soon and let's meet each other next week bye for now